And this is old cam. And this is not a spring tick. And if you think I'm standing in a hole, oh, I, I, I'm trying to be like Alexa Smith uh, drawing in a movie with Down on Lad. Alexa Smith was like six foot tall and Alan Ladd was like, a, you know, five foot four. So they would dig holes Are you Alexa serious? Smith That's a big difference. Yeah, so I'm in a hole right now. Well, they do that so that the male looks taller, although right now, yeah, well, it is an illusion. If I can dig a bigger hole, see. You know. No, no, no. See, so, uh, actually, I, I'm doing, uh, I'm digging a hole for a perfect reason. Explain what, I, I explain the analogy of me digging a hole. What? It's the same as what our country is putting ourselves into right now. Oh, they are, aren't they? They're digging themselves into a hole or Congress that they're not going to be able to. See, unlike Congress, see, I can step out of the hole. And you can. I can get tall, but our Congress can't. See, I'm, you know, because, I mean, they're basically, our Congress at the moment, if you've seen Barney Frank going on the attack against the Supreme Court, there is a reason for that, for which most of you people would actually know if you've ever actually read a history book. Oh, well, why would he go on and attack a Supreme Court justice? Because he's making a point of the fact that this court will not go along with anything, any of Mr. Obama's plans. And well, since, if they were constitutional. <laughs> no, but that the problem is they know what they're doing isn't constitutional. That's the whole trick. Because the Supreme Court is supposed to pull the Constitution, right? There's, there's, like, there's as well as Congress and the President. They're all sworn to uphold the laws of the Constitution of the United States. But this this uh, this Congress thinks that they know more than the Constitution, and they're afraid that the judges who uh, who are basically the to right would not approve of what they're doing. So with their interpretation, you mean? Get back to what we were saying before. Okay, let's get back to the Supreme Court justices. Okay. So, so mostly, okay. So Barney, why would oh, okay. so why would Barney Frank, I mean, be sitting there talking about uh, Supreme Court justices? Trying to vilify the Supreme Court that they cannot accomplish any of the things of the greatest president in American history, Barack Obama if they have a court that makes them play by the rules. Oh, you mean the Supreme Court would be doing their job of upholding the Constitution? Yeah. <laughs> they say they feel that the Constitution is a hindrance. And the Constitution is a hindrance to people who have a, a social agenda. They really? Figure, you know, well, they know that more than 60% of the people did not vote for Barack Obama. Well, they're trying to push their agenda to the First of all, when the elected officials, they're elected, don't they swear that they swear on the Bible? Yeah, they swear they on swear to they uphold swear the to uphold the laws of the Constitution of the United States of America. <laughs> I, uh, but they they feel that this court will not allow them to get away with things like uh, a bill of attainment, which basically like you know a bill of attainment. basically that where you tax because you don't like somebody, you put a special tax on them. They don't oh. think that they'll. They don't think that they'll uphold their uh, passing a budget by a one vote majority just on a on a on a voice vote. Well, they shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, they because don't. aren't they supposed to do roll call votes anyway, so everybody's on record? No, they don't. Uh, they're supposed to. They're supposed to do it there. Oh, they're, that's that's like paying taxes at the speed limit, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, the trick is, I'm a product of a school system where you actually had to once again had to learn to read and write your arithmetic. Today, they have hit, they're printing history books in Texas that basically said that the, said that the evolution is a myth created by people that were anti-God. What? Yeah. That, <laughs> uh, basically, that's the, that's how much anybody cares about oh. the laws anymore. That, you know, Oliver Wendell Holmes, Supreme Court Justice, said the law is the law is the law. Obey the law, and if you don't like the law, change the law. Well, apparently they're going to be changing the law. No, they're just not going to. They, they want to support him that will simply, uh, well, they, they, the, the Democrats, the left controls the lower, lower courts. Right. They figure that if the lower court says that this, you know, that this is legal, then they take it to a Supreme Court that's been packed with their people. The Supreme Court up above would just simply not say anything. They won't take the case. Which that means it withstands. 
John McCain, for instance, didn't complain about the election. There are a lot of people that are bringing charges against the way the voting was done. Well, it was pretty atrocious. Yeah. I mean, people, I mean, and everybody knew it. You're only supposed to have one day to vote. There were six weeks in many cases. Well, they were even joking about it on late night talk shows yeah. that it only took him, what? It took, it took him six weeks. Six. No, they were talking about taking years to get elected. It took years to get elected. It, 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 uh, Basically, some people are only voting 20 or 30 times. Well, you know, I did go to the post office the other day, and I saw that for voter registration, yeah. you are supposed to be a citizen of the United States yeah. and above the age of 18. I know. But that they were ignoring that. They were not checking to see if anybody were citizens, whether they were their age. They didn't, have, they didn't care. All they wanted to do, they said that they would decide whether this was right after the election. It, it would be it would be weeded out or handled after the election. Anybody see what's going on in Minnesota at the moment? Oh my God, what a mess! But they figure that they if the lower court sustains uh, the victory of Franklin and it goes to the Supreme Court, if they have a friendly Supreme Court, they will simply let Franklin stay at a center. Oh really? It's all about. It's not about uh, changing the law. It's about circumnavigating the law. Well, you know, they did say justice is blind because this is one of the statues. She's got yeah. a blindfold around her. I know. Justice may be slow, but justice, you know, ju you know basically justice, you know, it, it does her job. But uh, like I was talking before, though, I, history will tell, and people actually read a history book, you know, found that Franklin Roosevelt had this same problem when he came in office. A lot of his new deal things were actually unconstitutional. They were? Yeah. Now, yeah. I never heard about, I mean, I studied history too, but I don't remember. Don't you any remember of that. packing the Supreme Court? No, I don't. No. I remember them talking about the New Deal and how great it worked, and then, you know, all, you know because in history, Franklin Roosevelt was being credited with the New Deal and changing everything around. No, but the New Deal didn't work. That's no problem. Oh, World they kind of left that part World out. World War II fixed the problem. If 1939 had to came along, we'd have been a bad shape. Or, you know, Hitler in World War II basically jump-started our economy. So what did they do during FDR's okay. time? He, he had a court that was too, that was basically strict constitutionalist, and he didn't like that, and he had the control of the House and Senate. So what he did was the, he, he basically let the House and Senate give him, uh, I think, 14 Supreme Court justices instead of nine. Which basically shifted the balance. But because if all of a sudden you have nine and you bring in five more, yeah. you're able to shift the balance to your majority. That's right. Because they and they needed all of the extra justices in order to get a lot of the new deal thing through. I mean, well, Social Security, for instance, was that was that time. Was, they would not have been passing constitutional muster today. Uh, the huge taxes that, that they put on wouldn't pass muster today. I mean, because basically. Part of the problem of the Great Depression was the government stuck it to too many people that had money. Oh, really? That it, was part of it? It caused the collapse. They collapsed Wall Street. Which is kind of like what they're trying to do right now. Yeah. You know, the government got it, their nose stuck in watching. one place after another, and it caused all sorts of problems, just like now. It's why they're comparing Mr. Obama to Franklin Roosevelt, because the New Deal didn't work. History books show it didn't work. History books show it was World War II that ended the Great Depression, not the New Deal. Because taxing and spending didn't work. I mean, uh, I mean, you think that Hoover was removed from office because Hoover wasn't doing the bidding of the people? Well, Hoover started the taxing and spending. Okay. So wait a minute. So after they they changed the balance of the Supreme Court, 14, They right? said that, okay, uh, basically that? what they're going to do is to take the right of, uh, the right of assembly away Right. Probably the right to bear arms. The right or, to bear arms. Or like to buy bullets, to one of the other. I think what they're going to do is they're going to restrict the purchasing of ammunition. Oh, because that way they're around because you still have the right to bear arms. You have the you right to bear buy. arms, you just don't have the right to buy a bullet to put in the gun. Okay. Because they're already restricting the, per, the, the uh, sale of, uh, of, of casings to put your bullets in. Well, because like in England, they restrict how many batteries you can have. Yeah. Right, to, to buy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh,